organization? You know what? It's a um, it's a group of guys that, that that are hungry to go play. You know, uh, all those guys have uh, you know put the work in. You know, and uh, they, they they compete their butts off every day. You know, and now it's just the time for those guys to go show. Uh, you know, the fruits of their labor. You know, those guys have uh, had a great off season, great summer. You know, now it's their chance to go play football. Is it is it one of those well rounded groups? Like you have people. You probably have somebody who can do a little bit of everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, all those guys are different. They bring something different to the table. I mean, and I, and I think that's what you want in a running back room. You want guys that, that, that can find a role, you know, guys that can, you know, always feel like um, there's something they can bring to the table. You know, so those guys feed off of each other. So what one guy doesn't do, they kind of take it from the other. But all those guys bring something different to the table. So hopefully we can keep teams off balance and we can always keep a fresh guy, healthy guy in that's ready to go, uh, you know, take over when the time is called upon them to do it. I don't even know if this is something coaches concern themselves with, but like, is there any sense of if one guy's out there, we kind of have a sense, the other team will kind of have a sense about what, what they're going to be doing? I don't think so. And, and, and we stress all the time that, you know, um, um, we play a high tempo offense. You know, we, we, we don't play an offense where we huddle up and can pull a guy out to put another guy in. So um, you have to be able to do everything that the offense calls upon. You know, running the ball, pass protecting, you know, being a guy that can be in on third down, being a guy that can catch the ball out of the backfield, running between the tackles. So obviously, you know, th there'll be things throughout the week that we think guys can do better. You know, but when game time comes, there's some times where you may be in the game at that moment and you're still expected to go uh, execute at, the high, at, at a high level. Coach, he's a wide receiver. Um, you know, not just catching the ball, but, you know, being being able to block on the perimeter. You know, that's something he takes pride in. So I think Kobe's a guy that everyone's excited to, you know, finally get a chance to see him, you know, grow into his role as a football player. How was the uh, scrimmage last Saturday? I guess everybody is talking about the physicality. I'm sure that goes both ways. The defense is getting a lot of credit for it, but did you see the style of running that you wanted? Yeah, we well, you know, um, you know, the, the, the scrimmage was, was, was physical, you know, and, and I think physicality goes both ways. I think at times when the defense delivers the blows, I think it says a lot about the offense when they can get back up. So those guys that got hit, they got back up, and, and those are things that, that you want to see. You know, guys get knocked down, do you get back up, and how do you respond? So um, I, I think there's a physicality and toughness that's always here at Alabama. Uh, you know, that's what these kids came here to do and display. And, um, you know, I think that scrimmage always gives coaches a chance to really see how guys are going to be when we're off the field and we're not coaching them. So I think it was a really good display of toughness on both sides of the ball.